What's up guys, and welcome to my catch-up episode, episode 1 of my Supreme Chunkman series. We'll be following Buzz's rule set, you should check him out at BuzzRS on YouTube, I'll link it below. There are a few adaptions to his rules, some of which we both agree on, others I'm just making so the content doesn't get too stale, but we'll go over that in a second. Firstly, a big shout out to a few community members. It's Alex, who invented the one chunk at a time game mode with the vanilla rule set. Next, and unforgettably, Source Chunk, who built, maintains, and updates the Chunk Picker V2 website we all know and love. Then, of course, Buzz, who invented the Supreme rule set. Also, to Limpwa and Verf for popularizing Chunkmen, especially around the Extreme rule set. A quick disclaimer before we begin. This is my first time ever editing a video or putting anything on YouTube. I'm sure I've got a lot of learning to do. Now let's jump into the rules. Pets. One of the key differences between Extreme and Supreme Chunk Men is the requirement to acquire every pet available in a chunk. I'll be collecting every pet a chunk has to offer with the exception of Tangaroot. I explain this further into the video, but I made a forfeit meaning I have to get a duplicate pet of the ones available for me to treat this as a passive pet. Drops. We have to acquire every drop from every killable monster within a chunk. This does not include rare drop table or gem drop table. However, if a monster has multiple drop tables, we will have to acquire all of the items from both drop tables. If I ever make it to Revenants or God Wars Dungeon, this may have to be revised a little bit so that it's attainable before the inevitable heat death of the universe. All best in slot items must be attained. All collections must be logged, achievement diary steps completed, and quest steps available done. The highest processing for the highest resource available must be processed. This includes runes. This means a crazy magic grind in this chunk. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so now we've gone over all the rules and things I have to do in the chunk. Um, let's have a look around. First stuff, we're coming up door, upstairs of the party room. And Lucy here. She sells beer with a dialogue for two coins. Oops, I only brought one. Oh well. Um, so that's my best food in the chunk. And then if we climb down these stairs, there is a new secret addition that got brought to this chunk, if I can remember the way down. Down here. So if we pop up a prayer, do redemption for now, why not? Hopefully they haven't patched this and fixed it. Um, but over here, there's a statue that we can pray at. And this now restores prayer points in East Falador. And that wasn't there when I first started the chunk. So, next up, we are going to go to the mines. This might take a little while. Uh, there's a few things in the mines that we need to talk about. Um, but as you can see in this chunk, we have some men. So those I need to get 40 pickpocketing, 40 thieving, uh, and all of the drops, which we can see here. And they are by far the best way to get easy clue scrolls. Uh, possibly the only way, I can't remember. Oh, of course you can get them from mining and woodcutting. And then when we come down here, we have all these scorpions we have to kill. Um, and if we look up the drop tables, they're not very interesting. The only thing I can actually get is the scorpion head and beginner clue scrolls, which I can't do. Uh, and that's exactly the same for king scorpions. So further around in the mines, I'm sure we all know Felador mines pretty well. Um, we have dwarves. These drop tables are pretty good. Um, given we're going to have to get 79 magic in this chunk, we're going to be killing hundreds of thousands of these guys. Um, and for the early smithing levels, the bronze bars and iron bars are great because struts are really slow early. And then we also have a few shops. So this guy here, I forget his name, can buy some of the lower ores. 
and then we have some free coins. But this guy, I thought I'd have to get all the way up to doing amethyst darts with him um, because I got feathers from a ra random event. Um, but as you'll see soon, I am now lamping hunter because I have seen some implings fly into my chunk and one of my self-imposed rules was that if implings didn't fly into my chunk then I couldn't use them as a method for acquiring a knife to start fletching. Uh, the classic pickaxe shop here um, and then we are going to walk all the way around to MLM so I'll speed that up for you guys. So uh, here we have MLM, which is um, going to be one of the places where I live for a very long time. Um, this is broken, so I'm going to give a bit of a spoiler here, and you can actually work out my smithing level, which I'll show in two minutes anyway, um, from the XP drop. Oh, wait, I turned them off. Aha. Um, so we have to buy everything in here that's unlockable, the big sack included, um, upstairs on and so forth. I just opened the bank. Oops. Uh, I'm going to have to black that out. You guys aren't going to see any of this until later. And then we have after this the mining guild which we can head straight to. As long as these don't fall because they bank my pickaxe. What am I doing? Oh no. Don't block me in, thank goodness. So we can go straight from here through to the mining guild, which gives you a bit of a hint at what my mining level might be. Um, at least 60. And 50 days of playtime, so. I think you guys would hope that I, it would be. Uh, so we have the mining guild unlocked, obviously there's amethyst through here, which means a uh, mining level of 92, and for all, even vanilla chunk men, in theory, need a mining level of 92 in this chunk. Um, and then that's a bank chest, which I use a lot. Uh, and then here we have the mining cave, so I have to get a mining level of 99. And we have one star spawn, that spawns just over here, and we can obviously spend all of that stardust in the shop. Um, yeah, hopping for a star is relatively annoying. It's one of the more popular ones around. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a pain. Um, we've also got guards, which drop the air runes, which means we have a way to cha train from level 1 up to 79. Um, I regret doing a maze random to get water runes, but it's done now, so, um, instead of 59, it's 79. So that's gonna probably be the longest grind in the chunk. And now we can have a look at the bank, which I blanked out earlier for you guys. So, here we go. I have a lot of money, um, from Alking to get my mage level up. And then a lot of rings from wood cutting, um, and a lot of nests. Um, I have one doable clue at the moment, which I'm going to start stacking up. And the goal for that is to get an air stuff, which is one in ten caskets should have an air stuff, um, which is going to be a long grind. Um, I'll go into more detail later about it. And then all the herbs we've collected from men, so we've killed quite a few, as you can see. Uh, and then the mining tab, which is looking beautiful. So, yep, I've got 99 mining. And I've got two sets of prospectors. One with the um, cosmetic attachment. And we have 100 bags of gems and a lot of gems already cut. Um, I am saving up for 200 bags of gems. And I will do a video on that. Um, then a few runes, which I haven't used at the moment. I tend to use the air runes with the chaos runes. Once I have an air staff, I'll use up all the mines. 
so that that's a lot of what's in this chunk and then we've got our levels um and at the moment i am working on smithing mostly with um crafting as a side um which i'm doing purely through stars uh, occasionally when i need to afk i'll go do amethyst um because in the next chunk uh, which is fellow daddy's chunk i will be getting up to 88 uh, farming just off teleporting to house and doing uh, bag plants if i roll that chunk um, but i am not requiring myself to get 99 construction until it's a walkably repeatable process so that means when i've got tavley house portal unlocked which would also unlock the 99 herbal grind um, as long as i can get all the requirements or remington so that is not too far away and neither is that one uh, one of the scariest chunk unlocks we can get is edgeful monastery which currently would be 99 prayer off regular bones and that's only this chunk roll which unlocks only this little corner for me and then one more so that's a pretty terrifying prospect um so to the stats here we go i have level 102 mining i'm not rank one on the chunk men website um that is well on its way and i'm sure i'll get there before i get 89 crafting but it's a bit of a grind still to go um and then i'm nearly level 70 smithing 70 will come with 700 total level unless i get lucky with another lamp uh, and then i obviously need the woodcutting pit and the thieving pit and we do have well we do have the mining pit now if i go into the collection log and you already know all of these so we have a lot of xp mostly in mining we have done the three achievements that are required so repairing a broken strut pickpocketing a fellow door guard and entering the mining guild with full prospectors um if we go into how do i get back here we go into the collection log we go to all pets i did not just get one but I got four rock golems, which is ridiculous in my XP. Um, Motherload mines completed, shooting stars is completed, and from the random events, we have everything except for the stale baguette. Okay, so I found a star to AFK while I go over the chunk picker. Um, first, we will look at all the stuff I've already done. So, wielding a rune weapon, um, the rune pickaxe counts. So, that isn't locked by anything. Um, building an oak log was very easy. Um, buying the mining cape, um, honestly, it wasn't even a grind. Uh, 40 thieving. Um, so, I did a lot of thieving to get my rune pickaxe, and a lot of it was using the two coin bears um so that was a bit of a grind because uh, buying those bears takes a while um the iron dagger is dropped by both men and guards so that didn't take very long at all um part of finishing off their drop table um and doing that sort of early training the three diary tasks you guys saw when i went over the diary tasks uh previously and then the dwarf gang members, I actually killed all three of those. Um, although there's only one drop from the drop table. Um, and then the dwarf drop table is all done. Um, same with all the other drop tables in the chunk at the moment. Um, they took a look, little while, some of them, longer than they probably should have, but that's all right. Um, the I'll, I'll show you guys those drop tables and the drops and how many kills i had to do in a little bit um, but then we get onto the collection log and i have done the expert mining gloves along with the other two tiers which are further down um the celestial ring the rune pickaxe the rock golem 
um, Motherload Mine stuff, so the Cold Bag, Gem Bag, and the Permanent Unlocks are all done. Um, for Shooting Stars, I've bought everything I can from there, so I've fully upgraded the Prospector, as you guys saw from the bank. And then the Mining Gloves, there are the three tiers, and I have also done the first upgrade for the bank spaces. And the way the bank spaces are going to work is for every bank that is unlocked, you have to get another tier of the permanently unlockable spaces. And there are the other permanent unlocks there. So the bigger sack and the upper level are both done. And the upper level is so much better than the lower level. If you're still using the lower level, please just rush the upper level before you even get any prospector. It's so worth it. So for 89 crafting, that's going to be done pretty much purely on stars. Um, I am a few. 100,000 Stardust away from getting 85, um, so it's not too much of a grind. Um, the 40 defense wearing of rune armor, that requires 88 for the rune med helm to be ticked off, but I have to get 99 smithing anyway. Uh, 90 fletching, technically I don't have to do yet, um, but I will have to do it if I am able to get to 27 hunter before I roll. Uh, the 79 magic is going to be the longest grind. Um, the air stuff is the most variable thing in there. It could take 20 hours. It could take 400. But on average, it's going to take me about, um, I think it's 800 hours to get 10 caskets, which is on rate. So thousands of hours is not unforeseeable. Uh, Smite, I'm very, very close. I've got 51 rare, and I'm, I think I'm about halfway to 52. Um, but it hasn't been a priority so far. It's one of those ones that's relatively easy to tick off from here. Uh, 50 range, again, is blocked by whether or not I unlock fletching. But regardless, the rune knives, which are the tier below, uh, at 40 range, are uh, blocked by 99 smithing or whatever smithing level they require anyway. That's the same with all of the sort of rune stuff. So rune plate skirt, plate skirt for 99 smithing and the warhammer for 40 strength. Um, and the rune axe. And same with all of these best in slots, uh, apart from the mining cape trimmed, which... I'm going to have to get 99 smithing anyway, so that's a part of the chunk, no matter what. Um, and then we have the pets, and I'm going to be going for Rocky whenever I have full health. Um, I basically just use Beaving to whittle my health down. Um, and in conjunction with that, I'll be going for Beaver um, once I have 99 smithing, basically. Uh, so that's all the tasks. And then... We have access to zero beginners, which is a massive pain because beginners would be very easy to get stars from. Um, and then seven easies, which is going to be the the way that I'm doing it. Um, yeah, it's a little bit rough, but uh, I'll get there. Uh, mediums, hards, and elites are all trickier to get um, anything from. Mediums, I obviously only have one step. But... There's not much I want from mediums anyway right now. Um, and then, oh, I just got a random event. I don't want that. Goodbye. Um, and then, hards and elites I can only get from mining and woodcutting. And I don't think I will be completing any of those. Just because the juggling would be far too hard at that rate. So then we have the rolls. The first roll I do not want. If we roll one, we're in a scary spot. It's a pretty much a free roll. Um, we only have to kill the black dwarf guards, which is effectively the dwarf drop table. That puts us one chunk away from the monastery, which is 99 prayer, um, which is awful. I currently only have bones unlocked. I don't have any big bones or... 
dragon bones or anything like that. Um, once I get this chunk, it'll be a little bit easier because I could try and force spawn dragon imps. Um, as far as West Velador goes, that's where Buzz is right now. Um, it's got some grinds. Uh, specifically, the 88 farming grind would probably take the longest. In theory, I should be going for 99 construction. But I have decided that until I unlock house portals, uh, two of which are quite close, if I get this chunk, I will not be going for 99 construction because it's not walkably repeatable. And then the South Valador farm would be a fairly fun chunk to get. I'd have to grow some snake grass, which would take a little while, but not too long. Uh, but for both of these chunks, I would not be going for Tangaroo yet. I will be treating that as passive, but I will be trying my best to keep everything planted as much as I, as much as I possibly can. Um, and there is a threshold of around 2,000 hours-ish of in-game time where I will start taking it a lot more seriously and might even lock myself to the unlock chunks that I have until I have it. Um, I think that's pretty much all, but we also obviously have that one star in Asgarnia, which I can get to, which means that that 89 crafting isn't going to take too, too long. And there we go, that is 69 smithing. I don't think that gives us any easy in helmets look at that once again i have found a starter afk yet, so let's go over all the drops i've got so far so we have pickpocketed 13,000, nearly 14,000 guards um and if we get on men almost it's just over 17,000. so we are 10 percent plus 10 percent of the way to drop rate of rocky which is quite cool quite fun um plenty of bird's nest from afk wood cutting i don't know how i got oak logs from a nest but rune light for that uh imps very 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 occasionally can be found in my chunk so i got blue it hat by hopping through the woods about 10 times to find 11 imps we have killed oh, we have many men, 11,000. Um, I fumbled three steps, three doable steps, and I was going for four because I did a maze run. So stupid. I regret it. I will always regret it. Oh, that made me quit for a couple of days. Uh, and then we have killed 3,226 guards. That damn snake grass seed drop um yeah let's quickly look at how rare that is yeah i went a little bit over drop rate um but that's okay that's okay it got our stats up um got a few blood runes a few nature runes plenty of ears so those ears were actually really useful in getting a mage to where it, where it is now at 43 um, we got a few caskets from randoms. They don't really give that much. Bit of a sad random event, but that's okay. And we've done a dwarf massacre as well. Uh, the dwarves are a lot easier to massacre than the men. Uh, the men, you have to wait. We have to wait for the uh, respawn timer. Dwarves, for some reason, unbalanced in the runes, but it is what it is. It'll balance out eventually. And then the scorpion drop tables. Yeah, as you can see, I got absolutely spoon fed regular scorpions with only one insult head. These aren't the actual number of drops, just the number of recorded ones that drops them. Um dwarf gang member, one of those was not recorded. I definitely killed three. And the gardener. So here we have it. That's the drops. Um most of what we're going to be doing from now will be dwarves and men. 
and praying that we can stack up those easy clothes and get a very, very spoon deer stuff. All right, so we are just about at the 50 days playtime. So by this point, I'm sure you're caught up on all the levels and XP and everything. So we are going to get one final level before the timer runs out. And that goes straight into Hunter. Giving me six Hunter. And if we do some quick maths, we see it's two lamps away, so I'm gonna hook for one more lamp before I get an XP book. We can chuck that one straight in Hunter too. Awesome. Alrighty. Here comes what's gonna be the last level of the video. Uh, with 70 smithing. Hopefully we find a strut in this next world. And that is also going to be 900 total level. But we can now actually smith Eddie Ore into bars and it's pretty useless until at least next level and we can make an axe. So here's a clip of my 99 mining party. Uh, thanks everyone who came along. Uh, I was not recording anything at the time. I didn't have a mic, so I'm just going to let it play. I just want to say a big thank you for everyone who watched my first video. If you liked it, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll try my best to get back to you. Cheers, Sam.